Good morning, sunshines. Happy Thursday, the 15th of December. Um, how are you? I'm okay. I am all up in my feels right now. Oh my goodness. Like in a good way though. Um, so I'm watching Nitty Natty episode 161. I just kind of had it playing in the background because I've been watching her vlogmas. So I already knew like projects and stuff she was talking about, but it was nice to have a little recap as I was getting ready. But then she did a Q and A. And she um, talked about like why she didn't buy a Harry Potter advent kit this year and she spoke up about how she does not agree with jk rowling's like stuff about trans people like that whole trash heap and like if you're new here like trans rights trans lives are super important in my life I, um, I'm cis gender, but so many people that I really, really care about are trans and to have someone with like that big of a platform, I know it's not the biggest platform, but like, I feel like I hear so many people in the knitting community talk about Knitty Natty, like even people coming into the, my yarn shop and stuff, like so many people. So to have her like say, oh, I can't even right now. <sighs> Uh, I'll be back. All right. Okay. I'm not sorry for that. Cause like, I feel very strongly about that. Um, and you should know, like, you should know that's where I stand. So I super, super appreciated hearing that this morning and like it, is huge. It's so huge to have someone with that kind of platform stand up for, st stand up against what JK Rowling says about trans women. Um, let me show you my socks for the day and it's pretty much time to get in the car. So I have to finish getting ready. It is a rainy, cold day, so I've decided that I am going to wear my boots again, and um, they were actually really comfortable. Like, my feet don't hurt at all, and I'm really surprised because usually when I have new shoes, my feet hurt the next day, and my feet do not hurt at all. My legs don't hurt. Nothing hurts. So anyway, the socks that I'm wearing are socks that I dyed using food coloring, and I dyed these, oh, I don't know, maybe like eight years ago. I made kind of a fake warping board and wound the skeins so that they would match perfectly. And, um, and then I dyed them with food coloring and I did, I intentionally did uneven, not necessarily repeating stripes. So and I used a black contrast for the legs or to make the legs higher for the knees. Um, so I used the neon green. I used an orange, which I kind of speckled the orange stripes a little. And then I used the darker color right here is black food dye. And then the lighter color is purple. So I think you can see it better. The difference better on the foot where they're not right right next to each other so yeah and then I just um, on every stripe change I knit two together yarn over at that change to make this pattern and on the back of the leg I did ribbing instead just ribbing the whole way so that they would fit and these socks fit so so great were these the first pair of knee-high socks I made myself? I think they are. I think they are. I think I have three pairs of knee-highs and two pairs of over-the-knee socks. And I want at least one more pair of knee-highs and one more pair of over-the-knee. And one pair of leggings, maybe. Those are my tentative 2023 thoughts for myself. Also, re-knitting a sweater, but... 
I need to slow down and not get ahead of myself. So <laughs> those are thoughts. And another one bites the dust. What is this? Kindle seven? I think eight. Hey, sunshines. I'm pretty sure the last time I saw you, I looked almost exactly like this, but it was morning time. And now it's bedtime. <laughs> Today was a long, long day. Thursdays at school are long. And then the ladies at my class on Monday couldn't make next week Monday. So we just... Oh, excuse me, so we decided to have class today. So it was just a long day. I finished the Kirby hat though. Um, I'm just too drained to get it out and show you, but you know what that means. I'll be recording tomorrow morning to show you what that looks like. So that'll be at the end of this video. And I am still caught up on the Advent socks. I did not work on the hat. I didn't do almost any knitting at school today. It was just a long day at school. And I'm really tired. So I am going to go read. This is probably the shortest vlog ever. <laughs> and my oldest kiddo doesn't want to open their advent things when I want them to open their advent things. Grump, grump, grump. All right, I'm sleepy. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, so this is what those stars look like when they've been steamed. Um, they're pointy. This one's still a little damp, so I'm going to pin it out. Um, I apologize for my cat. He desperately wants to go outside, but I'm not putting him outside because he's not an outside cat. Anyway, Kirby hat is finished. Look at those eyes. Uh, my hair is currently wet, wet. So maybe I will try it on and insert a picture. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But I am going to weave in the ends so I can get this wrapped. And I'm going to let you go because my cat is just so extra. So see you tomorrow, friends. Bye for now. This candle is so bright.